Hi guys, this is Artie, and today, this is my long-awaited rant on the current state of YouTube, which is pretty fucking bad. Alright, so, first thing we're going to talk about, no f dragged out introduction or anything like that, or intro, or some fake giveaway, or um, a lousy promotion, so let's get into this. Alright, so the first point is the unwanted new policy about no swearing whatsoever. You can't even say any word, and they're going to treat every swear word the same, doesn't matter if you say that. If you say the word fuck or shit, bastard, crap, <laughs> they'll let you say hell and damn according to the policy, but they won't let you say anything. They'll treat the, the F word on the same level as the N word, which I think is just outrageous. Mm -hmm. I just have no words about this at all. This is no script, nothing, so I might pause at times so I can think of something. Because I gotta listen notes, but no script. Also, the kid, the YouTube Kids app exists for a reason, so um, I don't get why we can't just use the main YouTube app for more mature content, like Angry Video Game Nerd and Angry Grandpa, which has lots of swearing, like every five sentences, they'll drop an F-bomb. And also, it's going to affect older videos that were before this policy was even around. So like 10 years ago, they had to magically predict how, somehow that this policy was going to come? Like, that's fucking delusional. Like, I don't know what YouTube's smoking. Yeah, and worse than that is... um. Official channels, like, by companies, like, I don't know, like, South Park Official, or Fox News, or CNN, like, news channels and t cable channels and stuff, they're allowed to swear and get ads, but smaller creators and YouTube channels, when they curse, their videos get demonetized, like, what's the fucking main sentence? I just want to kiss the ass of corporations, which I think is awful. You know the episode of South Park where Rainy Marsh says the N-word? That video was monetized, I checked yesterday, it still has ads, get a video where the YouTuber says the F-word, I think it was, like, an angry video game nerd episode. It's demonetized, of course. Why wouldn't it be? Hell, even there's a regular episode of regular show where Mordecai says, You pissed me off. That has ads. YouTube was, like, originally created to get away from, like, all the bullshit policies and television that had, like, rules. They had the bleep swear words. You couldn't talk about certain subjects. At this point, I think YouTube's worse than television. Because at least on television, they'll let you swear and say certain words without bleeping it out. And after midnight, they won't censor it at all. And before 6 a.m. And people are like, oh, just don't swear. It's a private company. They can do what they want. Fuck you. A Norwegian Irishman like me, it's hard not to swear. I have to. And this website just wants to shelter people from real life. They won't let you talk about sensitive subjects like natural disasters like Hurricane Katrina or Hurricane Irene. Hurricane Bob. Or about 9-11 or Columbine or Parkland. Or when Osama Bin Laden finally got killed. Or the atrocities that happen in other countries like Saudi Arabia where they throw rocks at people just for being gay. Like, what the fuck? Do they just not want people to expose the truth about what happens across the world and what corporations do? Left and right? Motherfucker. Alright, so I want to bring up the next subject. I might bring, go back to this one later if I think of something, but... The other one I want to talk about is... This god-awful Susan Wojcicki, whatever her Swedish-ass ass, Swedish bitch name is, because I can't pronounce it lizard bitch this terrible ceo she just won't step down the swedish bitch she just won't step down yeah because norwegians are like way better than swedish people and she won't get replaced she's been the ceo for like almost a decade now and she's still not out the fucking door probably even longer than that i haven't checked wikipedia and she just wants to kiss the ass of all the corporations all the big companies and they'll say fuck you and spit on the smaller creators it's like ever since like August of 2016 when they came out with the first advertiser-friendly policy. And then a couple years later, they kind of improved it where you could select if your video had like mild swearing and mild violence and you could like grade your own videos. And that, but now it's even worse. And this is a more personal thing. I don't think it's affecting other channels, but YouTube will use this excuse I know as quote-unquote reusing content. I think it's just a cop-out. It's bullshit. Because I set all the videos that could possibly be reusing content like the um, Lispy Jimmy Rage compilations. Which is there's no commentary and it has the clips of him raging. They're like five to ten seconds long. I unlisted all those videos, moved it to the other channel, and reapplied for ads. And I still don't have it back. They're saying I'm reusing still, even though it's only original content on my channel now. I'm not sure if it has to be completely deleted or unlisted. Or why can't YouTube just give me a list of videos that violate that policy? And they're just beating around the bush, and they'll give me like this automated bot response. 
Yeah, and they won't promote smaller channels and only promote large companies and brands like ABC or Jimmy Kimmel Live. And not like smaller channels at all. Or even big YouTube channels for the main sense of that. And they also won't adapt unless it's like copying something like TikTok and they use the YouTube shorts. I hate TikTok, but at least they give people freedom. I've never sold the app, but I know that at least they give people some freedom on what they can do. And there's also, the ads are just way too repetitive. Back in 2016, all the way through like, um, actually 2015 until like 2020, the ads were all right. Like you got one ad, occasionally you'll get like a 30 second unskippable ad, but that was the worst. But as of like, I think it was like 2021 or 2022, now the ads, are, they'll give you two ads in a row that are usually unskippable and they're 15 seconds long. And the only way to avoid it is either A, buy YouTube premium or B, use an ad blocker or C, you could, um, Close up the video 15 times and reopen it because sometimes it'll just cancel, cancel out the ad altogether. Which is pretty cool. Because on if you're using Google Chrome or Firefox or something, or Opera, you can use an extension so you can get ad blocker. And you won't have to see ads on YouTube or anything. But if you're on phone or PS4 or on Roku TV, you, there's no way to avoid the ads except for get YouTube Premium. Yeah, YouTube's hypocrites. And they'll focus on... Petty problems will not deal with actual big problems like the bot comments. And they've just removed the dislikes. And people just use, made an extension to bring it back. So that was completely pointless of removing it. Because they just want to shelter people. And shelter the corporations. Yeah, because yeah, cause nowadays people get offended over the most minuscule things. That's not even worth paying any attention forward to. In the year 2035. Oh my god, this person needs to be cancelled. Because they breathed every 10 seconds. I wouldn't be surprised that in 2035, if people breathe certain ways, it's racist or offensive or homophobic or Islamophobic. And if you have like a certain opinion, groups of people or servers or corporations, they'll like X you out. Yeah, because I got a feeling like society's going fucking backwards. The Matrix was right. 1999 was the highest human civilization. It was the same year Family Guy and Futurama came out and Spongebob. Oh, and Ed, Ed, and Eddie came out that year. And Courage. All the good shows came out that year. And ever since then, it's been a downward spiral. We had Columbine, then 9-11, then the war on drugs. I think the war on drugs was before that, in the 90s. But then there was the war on terror, which was a huge mistake. Oh, you can't bring a water bottle to an airport, because that might be dangerous. It's been 22 years since 9-11. People just need to get a grip. It's not going to happen again. Well, there's a slim chance, but I, I highly doubt it. Yeah, this is a completely unrelated tangent that needs to be in a later video. So back onto the topic about why YouTube's not doing that great. And now I want to talk about more on why my channel's been inactive, which is one, that reusing content excuses they're using so I can't even get ads or monetization. And then number two, poor viewership. I'm not getting as much views as I used to. And I started that other channel, Durfee Highlights, to upload other videos in there to see if it gains any attention. The third reason is work, because I have a job now. I work at a fucking gas station. Yeah. Fun times. Number four is no ideas. Like, I'm done with Plotagon. I'm sick of it. I got bored of it. It was a good run. But as soon as I got tired of it, um, I ended the series. It was a good f solid five seasons. 52 episodes. Or 50, I think. Of William. And I think I want to do, like, review and rants and commentaries and talk about TV shows. Maybe, like, review up to, like, regular show. Or talk about the state of networks and companies. Or why certain things suck. In politics. And oh, well, I almost forgot to talk about this. And according to YouTube's policy, scam and deception's not allowed, which is clickbaiting. Yet yeah, people do it and they get away with it because it makes YouTube money. Makes them their fine dough, so that of course they're not going to do anything about that. They love clickbaiters. And people just flat out lie. You lie. Yeah, I'm talking about you, like kid behind a camera and those fake GTA channels that somehow make videos still. And of course, they make the videos over eight minutes to drag out and talk about something completely unrelated. Yeah, man, YouTube is just not what it used to be. You could upload whatever you want as long as it was porn or a snuff film. You can make whatever you want. You can make animations. You can play a video game and record it and upload it. You could do pretty much anything as long as it wasn't like copyright or just like really graphic. I don't think YouTube will even allow Manhunt 2 gameplay on YouTube anymore. I don't know why it's YouTube twice, but... They're a bunch of fucking hypocrites that don't care about their creators. And they somehow expect the creators to somehow predict that this policy was going to come 10 years ago. 
It's insane to think how 2013 was 10 years ago. Time has just gone by way too fast. Well, other than that, the only thing I have to say is, um, I think I'm going to go back to making some videos. Maybe upload my other channel too. I'm going to make some, like, reviews and commentaries with better opinions and not shitty takes like these other creators, like Optimus, who's a f cuck. I used to like his content, but I just don't know how to put it, but, um, he just gives in too easily into media. I liked watching him back in, like, 2018 and 2019. Some of his points are good. But YouTube wants to hurt these creators. Where YouTube's their only income except for like donations. Or, or they have a Patreon. And nope, they're demonetized and they have to go out and get snap card. Food stamps. With, that's Yeah, that's food stamps. And go on social security or find a disability they thought they didn't have but they actually have now because they just want the money. Doesn't matter if they're 19 years old like me or a 38 middle aged working man. They'll demonetize anyone for any reason. God forbid, if you say the wrong thing, people online are grabbed uh, torches and pit pitchforks, even in real life sometimes. You know, like that one scene from the Simpsons movie. Yeah, society's going backwards, people are acting a lot more tribal. If you don't agree with me, you're bad. The, that's like a four-year-old's complex. Oh, he likes color blue, so that means I like color blue, which means he likes it. Because isn't what... Everyone being different, isn't that what makes it all special? Because if everyone was the same, it would be boring. But nope, they want everyone to be the same now. Eat the bugs, live in a pod, and you'll own nothing and be happy. Yeah, fuck you, Klaus Schwab. You'll be dead in like 10 years anyways. And so will be Anthony Fraudsy. Yeah, I don't call him Fauci. He's a fraud, so he's Fraudsy. Yeah, I know, I'm getting completely off topic, so... That's all I have to say. I might make a part two if I come up with some other topics and notes I want to list down that are important, so hope you all have a good night.